interested in this stock at all today. Uh, so, you know, I guess unless it was shortable, it wasn't really worth the shot. So, you know, at least from yesterday, I had an email come in from one of our students. They had sent in their journal. They had sent in so many separate entries and exits. So it's very tough for me to go over each and every tiny trade that they had taken. But what I wanted to do was really just show you this chart here in full and basically just go over the move. So on the ANY stock, again, this was a move that we ended up catching from yesterday. It was a stock that was on our morning watch list yesterday. It was on the pre-market watch list from yesterday. Really quick, going to take a quick snapshot of that. You could see ANY there from yesterday morning from the 9th right? I mean, the stock was really active in pre-market. It was the top percent gainer for a good portion of it. And then, um, you know, even after nine o'clock, it was still like the, the number two or three percent gainer across the whole morning here. All right, let me delete this line really fast. And we'll kind of do a full review of this stock, at least in terms of the pre-market prep, what you needed to do, what levels you should have been watching going into the open for this trade, and then at least seeing what happened once the market did open for this one, right? All right, so I'm going to bring up my book map here in just a second, folks. But let me ask you, what's the direction of this stock here? Leading into the market open, What's the direction of this stock? We've got a few of us saying flat or sideways. Got a couple of us saying down. Just notice that no one's saying up. I appreciate nobody saying the, the answer up, right? Like, just notice the commonality there. Like, you could say flat, and you could say generally from, like, 8.15-ish here, dropping down. Ain't nobody saying up. So what I mean by that is at the market open, if this stock is not trending up right away, I'm not expecting it to pop right out the gate. I think we got a little time here. I think that this is more likely to continue dropping or maybe just coil up and consolidate. So that's my first thought, right? Now, otherwise, again, we'll look for the big, strong levels. I mean, it seems like pretty quickly, I'll just line this up for us to expedite time, but right around 565, I mean, that's a really good looking support from the chart. I mean, maybe there's an iceberg order right there. We'll find out shortly. Um, otherwise, I would still keep your focus on the 50 cent levels and the whole numbers like $5.50 and then eventually six bucks and perhaps 650 up top. Looks like 650 was near pre-market high. It topped off right around here at 645 here. Right? 